Okay guys, so this is the second video in the series. Um, this is obviously using LRC20 leather softening cream. And what we've obviously got to do here is we've got to soften this leather before we can actually start removing the actual color off the surface of the skin itself. Um, whereas normally what we would do is we would just obviously, you know, just remove the color straight away and then soften it. But due to the severity of how dry and brittle this leather is, we can't do that. So we've got to do this as per video one in a slightly different process. So we've obviously cleaned it already with LRC1 leather cleaner. Next, we're going to use the LRC20 leather softening cream. Once we've done that, um, obviously we can then look at removing the color off the surface very, very carefully. Then we can proceed to carry out things like, you know, repairs and stuff like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to LRC1 it, LRC20, remove the surface color and then back to LRC20 to re-soften the skin again um, once we can then obviously get into the skin a little bit more and that'll help soften it a great deal more than what it would have done previously with the color sort of being on here. Once we've got it softened, we would then, you know, after sort of the color stripped, softened with LRC20, we're then gonna wipe it over with alcohol cleaner, then we're gonna carry out all the repairs and stuff like that, which is gonna be one of the next videos that you're gonna see is obviously the stripping of the color is what you're gonna see next. And then after that, it will be obviously the um, repair stage where we're gonna to start to sort of do repairs of tears that you can sort of see up here um, on the top. And then obviously once we've got the tears all repaired, we can then concentrate on things like the cracking and stuff like that, um, you know, get all that sorted out. And then obviously onto the coloring and sealing stages. So obviously applying your um, softening cream, you can do it with bare hands if you wish. Um, I've got gloves on just purely and simply because I've got gloves on, it's obviously better if you can do. Um, you know, just get a good proportion of this on here. And what we will do is we're gonna sort of cover this once we've got it all softened. We're not gonna do the whole seat today, we're just gonna show you a particular section of how you would soften the leather by getting the softening cream in. We're then gonna put cling film over the seats or pallet wrap material over the seat to allow the product to sweat in. So you just simply you know, rub it in. Um, and as you can see, it's soaking in straight away. Um, so you can, you know, get a real good sort of dollop of it, if you want to call it that, on the surface and get that sort of rubbed into the seat. And that's going to help soften the leather considerably and get into all those sort of nooks and crannies and with the sort of cracking and crazing that you've got there. You know, sort of spread it all on thick if you want to and then let that sweat in. Um, you know, that's the sort of way we're going to do it. We'll just carry on proceeding over here on the seat, sort of getting this all wiped in. There's no real sort of skill required to getting this softening cream in here. The, the main thing to it is just be very, very patient. You will find that you will have to do this multiple times to get the leather nice and soft, especially when it's as brittle and as dry as what this particular skin is. It's just getting it over the surface. And you can see there where it's really soaking in, which is what it's gonna, it's gonna work wonders for the leather where it's all dried and brittle and stuff like that. It's gonna really soften this up nicely because this has got to be used. As you know, this is an interior that we're doing for practical classics. So we've obviously got to make sure the car's being restored. This interior has got to be used because the car's obviously going to be driven once it's um, restored. So just simply proceeding over, getting that on there. And as you can see now, we've got the sort of softening cream in there and that will be allowed to sort of soak in um, to the surface of the seat. So if we just sort of come back around to here and then we can just proceed with putting the softening cream in. There's no real set amount that you can put in there, obviously. Once you've got the cling film on or pallet wrap material on there so that it can sweat in, you can use old sort of like dustbin sacks and stuff like that and just take them on. Just make sure there's no sort of holes or anything like that. Um, obviously around areas where you've got like cracking and stuff like that, you just need to go really careful if you can. Just very, very gently, because what we don't want is for those areas to crack any further. So we've got to try to get some softening cream into those. You've just got to be real careful around those particular areas and just build up this softening cream on the surface. And that's all you've got to do. And just gently go over those so that you're not sort of creating a sort of like, you know, doing it aggressively so it makes those tears even worse. And just simply leave it on the surface again, like so. And that'll all soak in very, very nicely and make the leather really nice and soft and supple again to the point where we can at least, at the moment, I'd be very, I, I wouldn't like to sort of press this hard because I know if I do, you can sort of see with how brittle this is, it's just going to crack it. But you'll see the difference. Once we've obviously softened these seats, you're going to see a huge difference where we can literally 
put some good pressure on these and push them really hard so you'll know that the softening cream has worked exactly as it should do. So as I say, just real good you know, portion on, you know, get it blathered on, let it soak into the surface and then you would then simply put your palette wrap or cling film over the top or old dustbin sacks or whatever you want or even you know like car seat covers that valeters and things use you know you can use those tape them on make sure all the seams are um, taped up and that's it so i mean that's that is your lrc 20 leather softening cream process of exactly how you would do that and um, you're going to see the full series of these videos coming out obviously which we're going to be releasing um, and practical classics will be putting out so we're really looking forward to rejuvenating these seats and bringing this old sort of seat back to life again so it can get back into the car that's being restored at Practical Classics and be used. LRC20, leather softening cream. Right, so there you go, guys. We have done the whole seat now, as you can clearly see. Next stage is obviously we're going to get this wrapped in. We're just using pallet wrap material. So um, we're just going to go over the whole seat with this and, you know, tuck it underneath it and then wrap the seat with it and it will allow the product to sweat in quite nicely so you have to just excuse me while my big ugly mutt gets in the way of the camera um, but we're going to do this in several stages get it all so it's nicely in and then we're going to This will obviously allow the seat to sweat in. So you've got to get it all covered. Um, push it all down, make sure it's all pushed down nicely. Um, get each section cut off each as, as you go. And then you can sort of tuck that underneath the seat as well. As I say, cling film can be used or old, any form of old very thin plastic. As long as you've got some old thin plastic, it's just to allow it to get sweated into the seat. You've got to allow this product to sweat in. That's the key to it. It's what you want it to do, is you want, want it to sweat right in. So you have to excuse me again. It's a bit slippery while I'm doing this on my own, just sort of try to pull this over. I don't want to pull it off the seat again. Just simply get it pulled right over, like so. And again, we can come around and cut that off. Pull it around the back of the seat again. Tuck it all in here. So this is where your join line is. Make sure it's all nicely onto the seat, like so. Get it all into the join lines. Tap it all the way down. And then that's just basically what you're gonna do. You're then gonna proceed to obviously do the, the, the bottom part of the seat as well, the base part of the seat, and then the rest of the top. And that's exactly how you would do it. And you just leave that on there for 24 to 48 hours. It's not gonna create anything, any issues on there. It's just gonna soften the seats. What it's gonna do is it's gonna allow that softening cream to sweat actually into the leather better and soften them a lot faster than it would be. Whereas normally you'd put it on, you'd maybe have to do this over quite a several week process if you weren't gonna sort of put the plastic on there. Um, this way just allows it to sort of react quicker and a lot faster and sweat into the seats better that's basically all you've got to do to you know allow the softening cream lrc20 to sweat into the seats cover it with a thin plastic like that any type of plastic and just leave it on for 24 48 hours take it off and repeat the process and do it again